our best friendsies were escorts. Um, it, interesting because you don't, you know, in TV, the, uh, uh, personally, I hadn't seen, um, you know, a college girl escort, you know, um, especially since, <laughs> especially since it's just such a, you know, a taboo thing, I think, but it's portrayed so real. Um, so Nina is an escort. She comes from a small town, needs some loving. Um, no, but in all seriousness, uh, you know, a girl has got to pay for college. College is expensive these days. And John hasn't really, um, you know, we haven't really, like, dived into, into the backstory behind that. Um, so you never know. Maybe next season we will. But Nina, yeah, it's, it's the show really for Nina is about her relationship with, with Izzy. It's like a sisterly relationship and they love each other a lot and uh, Nina is constantly seeing Izzy basically drive into oncoming traffic I mean she's she's kind of a mess but such a lovable mess and she's her mess um, and so she's she's always trying to you know she's seeing everything that, that that Izzy does she sees it from the outside so she's always trying to give advice steer her in the right direction like a, a mother mm -hmm. sort of Well, no, I mean, it does, it does, but you know, I have to say, I never went to college. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never went to college, but you hear all the time. I mean, my mom watches the news every day and you hear all the time, but, but I, I would have to think, look, college is very expensive. Yeah. Um, not saying, not, not, not saying that, uh, you know, obviously it's a great thing to be an escort, but also too, for some people, I think it really is an honest living because they don't like it says in the show, there is no sex. So for some girls, I think um, it, it is, it's good money, fast. I'm trying not to knock it right now. <laughs> um, it's, it's good money. <laughs> Look, I'm digging a hole. I'm digging a deep, deep hole. I'm digging a deep escort hole. Um, you, you just said, yeah, like I am. Um, I can't even remember the question, but yeah. Nina's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's a, the, a, nearing the the end of the season, there's a lot of scenes for Nina and Izzy that are really quite emotional. And, you know, I would think that my scenes would be the lighter, kind of more fun ones, but but they were just, there's so much humor in the drama in this show um, that it was, that, yeah, there's so much humor in the drama in the show that it was just really, really great to get to dive into Nina's emotions, especially since she's always playing mother to Izzy. Every, you know, for, for Nina, it's like, oh, God, here we go again. Like, it's always about you, girlfriend. But, but, but near the end, sort of, we sort of see why Nina is who she is. And, um, yeah, John wrote a couple of really, really good scenes, and, and it, it kind of brings more depth to Nina. There wasn't really ever a time I didn't want to do it. I feel like I knew I wanted to act... I mean, I don't ever remember not knowing. Um, I, there was a, a an acting class down the school from down the street from my dance school. I've been a dancer my whole life, and I remember when I was 16, I was doing a summer school. This guy, he came, he brought a flyer, and I'm like, "This is it. This is it. I'm gonna take acting class." So every Tuesday, I would skip my point class, run down the lane, do a scene, run back, and just pretend I was late um, to my to my dance class. And uh, from there. I got an agent and I think I just really sort of caught the bug, you know, it was just a class, you know, like a scene class, but I, uh, yeah, I caught the bug and I, and I guess from there I got an agent and kind of slowly, slowly started. But, um, I always thought the best way for me was just to dive in, you know? <laughs>